Hi, I'm Tom, and this is Adult Game Reviews. Welcome to my first review of 2024, Ripples by Jester. I played version 0.6, which was just released to the public on November 22nd. Ripples is my second most recommended game this last year. The first will get a review at some point soon. There is a whole subgenre of more Eastern style anime writing and movies that use the time travel trope, one that I personally love. Where? to the future. Besides the Back to the Future movies, it's not one that I ever was that familiar with until I got into adult games. Beings like Ripples, Lust Theory, Goodbye Eternity, Another Chance, to name a few. I personally love this subgenre. It's so rich with possibilities. The one behavior that I never see though is why doesn't the MC just buy a bunch of Bitcoin when it first released or invest in Amazon? Even if you're a terrible person, at least you're rich. <laughs> Am I right? I'm rich, bitch! <laughs> Okay, I get it. Before people comment down below, games like Lust Theory are more Groundhog Day time travel than the others, which is why I'm so disappointed when you have this trope and it's done poorly. Luckily for me, Ripples is not one of those visual novels. The story of Ripples is you play the main character who lost his dad due to a terrible work accident. This all happened under mysterious circumstances, and you haven't really been given a good explanation why. You get taken in by Tiffany, the 40-year-old very sweet mother of one, where you live with my least favorite character, Jessica. You have your best friend, Darcy, who is one of my favorites in any game I've played. She is so fun and interesting. Together, you try to figure out the mystery of your father's death and navigate high school. One of the best parts of this game is the time travel. I'm not going to go super in-depth here, but when it first happens, you really feel the stress of the situation. There were definitely similarities between Ripples and Back to the Future, which I personally love. I thought all the characters were relatively unique and interesting in their own way. From Darcy with her Napoleon complex, to Crystal, who tries too hard, to Skylar, who is the hot alt girl, to Shelby, your hot but ruthless nemesis, and how could I forget Crazy Riley, and my personal favorite, the shy and nerdy Alyssa. These are just to name a few. At the end of chapter six, I was on or off of 17 girls' paths. Yeah. That's a lot, which kind of highlights the basic mechanics. It's mostly just choices that can affect if you're on a particular girl's path or not. While your phone is so invaluable, you can check your phone for info and background of all the girls. So very standard, but done pretty well. The next positive is each chapter is a couple of hours long or longer. I lost track of how long each chapter is about halfway through. Some chapters felt longer than the MC's best quality. Hi, hello. I'm Tom. The well endowed. The writing was pretty good. There were some phrasing issues here and there, but I mostly thought it was more of a strength than a weakness. I did notice the writing got better with each chapter, which was great to see. There is also a lot of lewd content, and it progresses and escalates with each chapter. Some scenes are very long and really funny. You definitely get a lot of bang for your buck. What didn't I like about Ripples? Well, the VN is pretty linear. You don't get a ton of choice and options in there, but I didn't mind that much because I was so invested in the story. It can feel like you're just jumping around from event to event, which stinks if you really want to focus into one specific storyline. However, I'm trying really hard to find stuff that I don't like about Ripples. Ripples has been fantastic and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I find myself comparing Ripples to Evermore, mainly because they're both fantastic. Ripples has more content and there are more girls with more character depth, but I still feel like the actual storytelling was better with Evermore. These are two great games so far and I can't wait to see how they both finish. So this is a big play for me. Ripples was a really fun game with a ton of lewd content, fun characters, and overall engaging story. There's already enough content to justify paying for Ripples in its current state. I can't wait to see how it finishes. If you haven't seen my compilation of 24 games I'm looking forward to playing in 2024, you can check it out right here. Thanks again. Until next time.